Hey guys, it's Alice. So today I am going to be doing another haul. I know I've done like lots of these recently, but the difference is, as you can tell by the title, is that it's about books. And I haven't done a book video in a while, mainly because I don't have the time to read. <laughs> Because of exams, I'm really trying to. There's a book that I've like had on the go for so long called A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Maas and I'm making my way through it. I'm on page 544 out of 626. So yeah, this video I'm going to be talking about the books that I've got recently that I really want to read over summer. So when my exams are over this is what I want to be reading. Yeah, I'm going to start off with the books I got recently and then I'm going to go into some any other like miscellaneous ones that I've had for a while. Before you go anywhere, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. I would love it if you did that. So let's just go on into the video. <coughs> Dear God. Okay, so I bought some books from Amazon recently because they had this like sale deal thing where there were certain books that you could buy three paperbacks for £10. So I like went down the list and found some books that I've like really wanted for a while that were on the list and I got six books for £20. Which I thought it was really good so you know they arrived and they're all clean and shiny and oh can't we just I'm just gonna make my way through that pile. So first book, I kind of put like the most childish one at the top, is Return to the Isle of the Lost by Melissa de la Cruz, which is a Descendants novel. If anyone knows me, you know I love Disney. And then Disney Channel came out with a movie called Descendants, which is about like all the kids, the villains. Brilliant. And I was at that point in the mood to read like a book like that. So I bought the book. And then this is the second book. And considering the second Disney Descendants movie is coming out, I wanna say, the 21st of July but that might be wrong. I want to read this. Basically I think they go back to the Isle of the Lost. That's literally all I know about it. Mal, Evie, Carlos and Jay. I just like this book. I like them as like a break between you know like the hardcore books because it's like a kid's book you know. The next one is one that I really want to read in summer because I feel like it's quite a summer book and this is We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I don't really know what this is actually about but I just know that like loads of people on YouTube and stuff and talked about it and everyone wants me to read it so I bought it and I'm gonna read it and it's quite thin so that's like great yeah and it's blurbed by John Green which is really cool as well I gotta get me some of this I feel like I'll get through this in one day and then I was so excited about this when I saw that this was on like the deal thing I was over the moon I was like oh my god I have to buy it I have to buy this and that is Tales from Shadowhunter Academy I was so excited by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Rees Brennan, Maureen Johnson and Robin Wasserman. What? What? Wasserman? Oh, I don't know. This is a collection of short stories about Simon Lewis from the Shadowhunter series and I've read all of the Mortal Instruments series and all of the Infernal Device series and I love them so much. I'll read the blurb to you. So Simon Lewis has been a human and a vampire and now he's becoming a shadow hunter but the events of the City of Heavenly Fire left him stripped of his memories and Simon isn't sure who he is anymore. He knows he was friends with Clary and that he convinced the total goddess Isabel Lightwood to go out with him but he doesn't know how. So when the Shadowhunter Academy reopens he throws himself into a new world of demon hunting determined to find himself again, rediscover his relationship and ascend as a true Shadowhunter. Oh, but he soon realises that nothing is ever straightforward at the Academy. I am so excited. I'm so excited to like find out more about all the characters and it's like so nice, it's gonna be so nice to like go back into this series because I haven't in such a long time and I like that it's like all split off into different sections so that it's gonna be so much easier to read and it's got little like pictures and drawings and oh, I'm so excited. I love Cassandra Clare's books, I could clearly I do otherwise I wouldn't have read all of them. Oh and I've read her first book from the Dark Artifices series called Lady Midnight as well. Okay and then this next book is a really new book actually and it's called Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Marissa Meyer is the author of the Luna Chronicles series and I have read three out of the four books. Three out of the four. This like isn't related to those series but obviously it's by the same author so I really need to finish that book but it was one of my honourable mentions. I'll shove it in there now. This is the size of the book. You can see why I've been putting it off for quite a while. I also need to read this over summer because I just need to finish the series and know what happens but like it's 800 pages and it's so long. That's one of my not ones that I bought on Amazon but I need to read and I've had it for a while. So I need to finish that. Basically quick overview about what winter is. It's the final book in the 
Lynn Chronicle series follows this cyborg called Cinder. I really don't want to spoil anything because obviously this is the last book but like finds out loads of stuff about herself and meets loads of people and that's a really bad explanation but like if you want to like look at any reviews and stuff just like google winter spoiler free review on YouTube when you'll find loads of things but I really don't want to give anything away but yeah so that's like the beast that I need to finish this summer. But yeah so this is a story about the Queen of Hearts, if you can't tell. And it says, Long before Alice fell down the rabbit hole, and before the roses were painted red, the Queen of Hearts was just a girl in love for the first time. So I'm really excited. So it's like one of those like retellings, but like background, you know? And all of the Lunar Chron Chronicles series are kind of really, really, really loosely based on fairy tales. But I'm really excited to see what she does with this, because obviously, it's going to be a whole different world and it's going to be like the only thing I've read of hers outside of the Lunar Chronicle series. So I'm really excited for that and it's like 400 pages so it's like a decent size but it's not huge so that'll be good. The next one I've actually already read. My sister had it and I saw it on like this deal and obviously I got it for like £3.30 and I was like I really really want it just for myself. And that is The Trials of Apollo, The Hidden Oracle by Rick Riordan. Oh, I say Riordan but then I feel like I should say Riordan but... Anyway, I love him. Anyone who knows me, I have all of the Percy Jackson books and I really need to get all of the Heroes of Olympus books because I've read all but the last one, but they're so expensive to buy. And I really want to reread them, but they're so expensive. I love him. Like, anything he puts out, I will read. Like, I've read Magnus Chase and it's not my favourite by his because obviously I prefer, like, all of the Greek mythology, but I'm still going to buy the second book. Like, this is about Apollo, he gets thrown out from Olympus and he has to kind of navigate the real world as like a mortal rather than actually being his like a mortal god self. I forget what happened at the end of this. That's really bad. I read this last summer by the way so like it is quite a while ago. I love everything he writes basically. And then I think this is probably the one that I'm most excited about. As I said earlier I was reading A Court of Mist and Fury and then I saw this on the deal thing and oh my god. Bearing in mind this came out like the 2nd of May, Court of Wings and Ruin, which is the third book in the trilogy. I don't know if they're going to write anymore, so I feel I don't want to say trilogy or series, I'm just going to say series. I don't want to read the back because I don't want to spoil myself for what happens in the second one, so I don't actually know what happens in this, I just know that I have to have it and I'm going to read it because it's by Sarah J Maas, I'm obsessed with her books. I've never pre-ordered a book in my life and I pre-ordered one of hers and that's the only thing I've ever pre-ordered. I love her books so much, I just love the way they're written and the stories and I think Throne of Glass is one of my favourite series of all time and I really do like the Court of Thorns and Roses a trilogy series, Ugh, I don't know. Matt was with me when I was sat like opening these and I genuinely sat there like staring at these books for about 10 minutes and he, I could tell he was so bored out of his mind, he was like why does she care about books so much? Oh my god, I really want to know like what it's about, but then I like don't want to spoil it for myself. So if you want to know what it's about, I'm gonna show you, but like I'm gonna skip over this when I edit it, so like Okay, you're done now. So excited for this. I feel like that's gonna be the one that I'm gonna read first after I finish that because obviously I just wanna know what happens. And then I don't know if I mentioned this in the video before, but I didn't get this in the six book series, like group that was the six books. The Rise of Nine. I am slowly 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 making my way through the I Am Number Four series because all the books are really expensive and there's loads of them. There's probably like eight of them. This is the third one I think. I am so excited. Okay so I think that this one is about the guy who we met in the second book. I think it's nine. Yeah, obviously. Uh, the Rise of Nine. John helped him escape from prison. John is number four, by the way. This is literally all about them trying to find all the rest of the numbers. Okay, I'll give a bit of you. Basically, they are from a different planet called, I want to say, Lorien. And they are like the only ones left of their kind and they have all these powers. I want to say there's nine of them. When they're separated from each other, they can only be killed in order. And the first three are dead, so it's up to the rest of them, but now they're together, I think there's, I don't remember the numbers, it's really confusing. I know four, six, and nine are together. I want to say number seven is, and then there was, they found a random like tenth one who wasn't actually meant to be there, but like she was. So they're all together, so they really hope that the people that they're running away from haven't figured that out, so they can't just like, slaughter them all. And so they're like all aliens, and they've got these magical powers, and it's so cool, and I'm so bad at describing things, but I'm so excited for this. Isabel. 
read this please read this series speaking of Isabel don't know if I ever mentioned this I feel like I did but I might have had to edit our video because it was really long for my birthday Isabel got me these two books they're really heavy for books anyway she got me Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and the second book in that series called Gemina I started to read Illuminate and I got like 73 pages in but then I came home from Cornwall and I had so much other stuff to do in my life and so I had to stop but I really want to read it because it's not a normal book like they're all everything inside it it's got so many different things like messages and emails and like reports and transcripts and it like that's how it tells the story it does start off a bit confusing but I'm just trying to get my head around everything the year is 2575 and two mega corporations are at war over a planet that's been there's little more than an ice covered speck too bad nobody thought to warn the people living on it. With enemy fire raining down on them, Ezra and Katie have to make their escape on, an, on the evacuating fleet. But their troubles are just beginning. A deadly plague has broken out on one of the spaceships and is mutating with terrifying results. Their ship's protection is seriously flawed. No one will say what's going on. As Katie hacks into a tangled web of data to find the truth, it's clear only one person can help her, Ezra. The problem is, is that they split up before all this trouble started and she isn't supposed to be talking to it. So basically, the day they split up, the world started to end, which is quite ironic. I'm really excited for these, I think they're going to be so interesting, and I'd like, I'd never even mentioned to her that I wanted to read these. She must be a genius, so thank you Isabel. And like, just the covers are so pretty. That is all of the books. I say like that's all of the books as if I talked about like two. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. If any of these books you've read or you want to read, then like let me know your opinions in the comments below. I'd love to read them. And yeah, if you have any book recommendations for me that you think I would like, then I would again love to hear them. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you want to see my face again so i think that is everything for today i am gonna love you and leave you i hope you've all had an amazing day and i will see you hopefully next monday with another video